Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And we are back at Angel Stadium. Today is a Friday game. They're playing the Mariners. It should be a fun game. Middle of the summer. It should be really crowded today. A weekend series in the summer. Should bring a lot of fans, which is good. Um, I'm not sure who's pitching actually. I need to check. I believe it's an opener for the Angels. And I think Kikuchi's pitching for the Mariners. Either today or tomorrow, something like that. Um, Hopefully the Mariners can hit at least decent BP. Um, they don't really hit too well. And it's gonna be crowded, so it's probably gonna be hard to get baseballs. But today's an important day to be here because there's gonna be like a Tyler Skaggs ceremony before the game or something like that. So I kind of have to be here for this. And yeah, guys, two series homestand. I believe they're playing the Astros next series. I should know. I'm like 90% sure they're playing the Astros. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm really happy to be back. Coming back to Angel Stadium after the Texas series. Um, it should be fun to be back here. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Let's get in the stadium. All right, guys, ran in, Angels BP ended. Got it close to a lot of home runs, but I only got one. It bounced off the seat, and then I caught it after it bounced off the seat. Um, headed back towards the Mariners dugout right now. Um, hopefully get some baseball during Mariners BP. I forgot they had uh, Daniel or David something Vogel back. Somebody that I forgot his first name. Can't really think right now, but anyway, he should hit some bombs during Mariners BP. Um, it's also, I forgot it's Angels like umbrella night. Uh, it's pretty cool, but now I have to carry this the whole time. But yeah, one ball so far. Mariner the playing catch right now. Hopefully I can get a toss up and then catch some balls during Mariner's BP. Can I get one? Thank you. Thank you. That's good. That's Alright guys, after Angels BP, I went down by the Mariners dugout and got a Mariners toss up. And then I went over to right field for most of BP and I got pretty unlucky. I got pretty close to some home runs, I just didn't catch them. Um, then at, at the very end of BP, I went down the foul line. I started getting unlucky again. I got really close to some foul balls, but I didn't get any. Until the very end, I got a toss up from Yusei Kikuchi's son. He's always out there in right field with his dad doing BP. You said Kikuchi and his son are out there tossing all that baseball up. He tossed me one. Um, and then one of my baseballs, I'm not sure which one. It might have been the toss-up. It has this mark on it. Here's a better look at it. It's a really weird mark and I've never seen it before on a baseball. I'm going to have to have this in a keepsake where I always know where it is because this is pretty much the weirdest mark I've seen. It's probably some sort of netting, but it's perfectly over the Major League Baseball logo. So it's really odd, it's actually really cool. Um, anyway, before the game, I'm not really gonna go for any autographs. Well, no one's probably gonna sign, maybe Mike Trout. I might go for Trout, who knows. He might, he's, the only, he's the only one that might sign. But tonight, everyone's wearing number 45 in Skag jerseys, which I expected they were gonna do. Um, so it's really gonna be a special night, and I'm glad to be here today uh, for this game. And yeah, guys.
Tonight, while the grieving continues, the Angels and Mariners join fans across the nation and the baseball community in remembering this special young man.
right, guys, what an insane ending. I started off the ending in the front row by the dugout to check out the ceremony up close. It was pretty amazing. And then Mike Trout gets up after David Fletcher gets a hit, and he hits a bomb, like 450 feet. I got a great shot of that. Uh, the Angels end up scoring seven runs, batting around the lineup. Trout also hit a double with two RBIs. He had two at bat, so the second at bat with a double with two RBIs. So he had four RBIs in the inning. Angels scored seven runs in the first inning, which is pretty insane. Also, what an amazing start to the second half. Up 7-0 after the first inning. It was like an hour-long inning. The Mariners starter, Mike Leak, was pulled. Bases loaded and two outs, but just what a crazy inning. A whole, the whole lineup batted around, and then half the batters hit twice, which is just unbelievable. Also, halfway through the bottom of the first, I ran, I got kicked out. Well, there's people sitting where I was trying to sit at the front row. So I went back and went around to the Mariners dugout to try to get the end of any ball. The ball to end a seven run inning, which would have been pretty cool, but it was a strikeout. Just nothing struck out with bases loaded, and the catcher ran in with the ball. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna hang out for a bit. Maybe try to get a third out ball, uh, one of these innings, something like that. Uh, Cause I'm not at the season seats today, so I'm kind of just walking around. But before the game was so special. And um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. It's only the top of the second. It's already been like an hour, which is pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a long game. Look, rolling it out and it just Guys, the Angels scored two runs in the second inning, got up to a 9-0 lead, and it's the fifth inning right now. The last couple innings have actually been really fast. I don't think there's been any hits. Um, so it's the fifth inning right now. Um, it's a pretty boring game now. Well, I mean, the Angels pretty much already won. I'm not trying to jinx it, but it's 9-0. It shouldn't be a close rest of the game. Um, this might be it for the vlogging. Yeah, the rest of the game's not gonna be too exciting. Maybe something will happen. Looks like they're not pitching to Trout, though. Trout hit a bomb and then got a double and then they hit him the next hit bat. And it looked like he, they were trying to go in on him. And it was pretty disrespectful. Uh, but anyway, yeah guys, that's all I gotta say. Later. Guys, this game isn't so boring after all. There's a developing story I didn't realize. The seventh inning right now, um, and Taylor Cole and Felix Pena have a, I gotta be quiet here. They have a combined no hitter going on right now. Felix Pena is pitching. He just got the first out. I don't know why I'm standing here. Um, I gotta go back and watch the rest of the game. Eight more outs to go. If he gets eight more outs, they're the no hitter. And that's insane. First home game after the death of Tyler Skagg, no hitter. That would be like the biggest story of the year. That would just be unreal. So, gotta keep an eye on it. It's looking pretty possible right now.
him and the thing is scale was located for him and all his family. I'm just gonna, I have nothing planned to say. I'm just gonna go off the bat and just, oh my God, dude. It still hasn't really settled in. I, I honestly don't even really believe what just happened. Like that was just the most unreal thing I, I've ever seen. I don't even know where to start, man. No hitter. How many no hitters? in baseball has there been? Let's see this, let's just see this right now. How many MLB no-hitters have there been? 301 no-hitters. Think about how many baseball games there's been, three and 300 of them. What, every 10,000 games with no-hitters, something like that? How, I wonder how many Angels no-hitters, because I've never seen a no-hitter. There's, Probably been a couple. Nolan Ryan probably pitched a couple. 11. So that's a decent amount. Yeah, 11 no hitters, Angel History. Oh, yeah, right. Because Weaver, Santana had them, them back then, but whatever. Anyway, combined no hitter, Taylor Colt, first two innings, Felix Payne, the seven innings. Just that stuff, just, this doesn't, doesn't just happen. Like, this doesn't just happen. This doesn't happen. Like, this. Skaggs was definitely part of this. I mean, there's nowhere to, I don't even know what to say. Like, the night, the first homestand, or the first home game sent to death, the day they're honoring him by everyone wearing Tyler Skaggs jersey, they pitch a no-hitter, 13-0 win. It's just, it's just not, that's just cr unreal. That's just, there's no better way to, like, honor Tyler Skaggs, I guess. Shrout went up in the first inning. And for some reason, I literally just knew. I'm like, he's going to hit a home run right now on the first pitch. I just, I don't know how to explain it, but I literally just knew that. And then he hit, crushed, like, 450 feet. I didn't even see the home run. I literally was just filming him. I saw him swing, and I'm like, yeah, that's, like, 500 feet. I knew immediately. I saw him drop the bat and start jogging. That was just, even that was just unreal. It's just taking the first pitch 455 feet, something like that, 454, whatever. And then Taylor Colt, I didn't even know there was no hitter to like the fifth inning. I was vlogging it and I, I like said like, oh, it's 9-0. It shouldn't be too exciting the rest of the game. And then I realized there's no hits in like the fifth, when I got... When I got up to seat and seats or like the club level area to watch the rest of the game, I realized there was um, no hits for the Mariners. And I'm like, yeah, no. What, P Felix Pena was going in for like his third inning, three no hit innings. That's pretty good, but no, he's not going to, you know, he's got four more innings. It's, it's cool that they've gone through five innings. And then every inning, it was like, oh my God, this could like, actually happened like I got more and more in the realization that like this could actually happen once it got to like the eighth and ninth inning I realized like that it was gonna happen like there was something happening here and like baseball gods whatever it was like the angels had to throw a no hitter here I mean that's just that's just like not a coincidence you know that's just 
that's just not that that doesn't happen. I can't even I can't even find words right now. But um anyway, yeah, I mean that's that's the video. I don't know if I'm even gonna post a vlog. It doesn't feel fitting to like post BP and stuff like that in this video because this is just too unreal. I might I don't know, man. Even when Jose Fernandez dies, even when he died, D Gordon, who was coincidentally at the game today on the Mariners, who hit one of the final outs, I think, he, the, I think the first pitch he saw after Jose Fernandez died was the farthest home run he's ever hit before, which is just, on this, it's just unreal. That, I mean, the stuff that's kind of happened. And this obviously is just a whole nother level. The great, one of the greatest moments in baseball history, one of the greatest moments in sports history. It doesn't feel that crazy yet, but everyone's gonna kind of understand that. This is just crazy, man. I mean, oh my god, I just don't even feel like I should have an emotion right now. Like I literally just <laughs> can't believe this straight up. I just can't believe it. Um, but anyway. That's it for this video. The greatest moment in baseball I'll ever see, will ever witness, probably. One of the greatest moments in sports history by far, or just one of the greatest moments in sports history, hands down, unreal.